please read this one interpretable soft prompts is a prompt engineering technique to use the best of both worlds it allows us to control the models generated text while providing some flexibility to the model or in very simple words i will tell you you can give an instruction in the form of a prompt to chat gpt and you can give in the response this 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 should be should not be flexible it should be there and this 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 things is flexible chat gpt can uh, take the freedom to change means we are telling chat gpt i have a requirement like this you generate something but in that this 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 should be there i will tell you one very interesting uh, very interesting example here let me see see the one simplest thing i am going to show here i am telling chat gpt to translate the following text from english to spanish but keep the following words in english only that is prompt engineering controlled input technique so here the pro here i am giving the freedom to chat gpt to totally translate everything from english to spanish but telling that keep these three words in english only means i put a condition to chat gpt it will make like that but this is one of the very simple thing and you saw the prompt formula there that perform something while considering the following constraint constraint one constraint two constraint three now i am going to show you something much much uh, uh, interesting i am going to show you that one see please read this prompt generate a story based on the following characters mahabali bhima sri krishna the theme food uh, food adulteration and should be the one liners i won't allow my citizens to get cancer due to food adulteration food adulterations will go adulterators will go to hell means in this story these two one liners should be there and mahabali bhima sri krishna these three characters should be there and the theme of the story should be food uh, food uh, food adulteration i am going to show you how it is done by chat gpt i am going to tell chat gpt to do the same now just to wait how chat gpt is generating our story of food adulteration with uh, uh with the mahabali bhima and sri krishna are you able to read i will put it for from uh, starting once upon a time in the ancient land of india can you read now this is the power of chat gpt this is a power you have to use for research never never chat gpt is a very helpful tool even though i used it for a story you can make it for essay you can tell that one this this should be there this is this this thing should not be there chat gpt chat gpt will will do the entire work for you but at the same time when you use prompt engineering this work is us not made by somebody just churned and given to you when you use prompt engineering this work is us when you are getting from a tool anyone can get it and that is not us that is that one you will get into plagiarism so please please know that one prompt engineering is the most important thing in in uh, generative ai there are list of 5000 6000 tool out the out there they are not going to help you the, you are you can live with self respect when you use your when you use your uh, prompt engineering 
okay now anyone has got any question on this and now i will scroll little more because it's a long story okay now sri vijaya madam's question should we remember all these prompts to get best uh, best output from chat gpt now ma now madam to write this write this question you used something around 20 alphabets of english 26 alphabet right whether while writing this one are you self conscious that whether you are using this alphabet or that uh, alphabet same way when you use it for some time it will become something like you are using it for alphabet okay now uh, Ah, now I am going to show you, now I am going to show you something which is very interesting, very interesting. See, this is another power, another powerful thing of, uh, of uh, chat GPT. Let me ask you, how many of you know about Gurudath? Okay, now dr nasrat khan's question why it is called the prompt engineering see engineering is just a literary word engineering is not a technical word for example the political party engineered a majority means they somehow fabricated a majority so engineering means with some intention we are creating something that, that is what engineering so it is a prompt crafting with an intention that is what the prompt engineering is. There is no engineering theory involved in that. Now, uh, <clears throat> okay, it is a Dr. B. Aruna, madam's question. Please let us know the six best methods of prompting. Actually, we have given six, uh, uh, talking about six not good methods whatever i am speaking all along are best methods there are not six there are plenty there are countless okay now doctor uh, now now doctor b aruna said gurudath is a film actor uh, yes yes what yes what what dr shibhi anand said is correct actually it is six ways of uh, how not to ask a prompt that i have explained on the first day it will be there in the notes okay now now i am going to show you something very interesting whoever knows uh, uh, whoever knows gurudath i am going to click this i made a prompt generate a short screenplay in the style of 1950 india author gurudath topic youth topic youth unemployment just to see how how chat gpt is really making a screenplay and if you read gurudath's biography you will immediately relate with all these names all these places everything it it looks like chat gpt knows this gurudath in and out I only gave a, I only gave a, one, this particular prompt. Generate short screenplay in the style of 1950 is India. Author Gurudath, topic youth unemployment. Why I made this thing? Because Gurudath is my favorite uh, actor, director or anybody. Uh, Gurudath and K. Balachandar. now now let us go ahead and i am going to show you uh, one very serious thing jokes apart i am going to show you one thing very serious see when you want accurate generate accurate and useful responses especially medical legal etc this is this type of a prompt can be used this can even used during your research what should i consider when drafting your contract that is contract, 
and you can uh, you can add a contract you can see what are all the key reference material offer and acceptance consideration intention to create legal relation capacity to contract legality of purpose formalities and writing here you can see the prompt formula accurately specify okay this is a professor sajit uh, uh, sajit's question see brackets are not compulsory but brackets are written only for our own information because we are inputting some inputting some external data there that data is not there with me so i am not showing demonstration or demonstration with that but when you are using it you can take this one you can put it individually then you will get the you will get the result it is only an indication that that information to be provided of that type of an information to be provided okay now you have seen that like that this will be very good for your research also generate accurate and useful responses in a specialized domain like medical legal advices and it can be it can be anything